David, the um, Legends game here at Macron Stadium, I believe you've been confirmed as one of the Legends who's going to be playing back here. Are you looking forward to it? I am looking forward to it, yes. Um, it'd be great to see some of the old teammates and some of the former players who are coming back for it. Um, and it's for, a good, it's for a good cause as well, so it, it's all set up to be a spectacular day. And it's important, isn't it, that both the Community Trust and the Supporters Trust come together for what should be a, a really good day? Yeah, it's nice for both parties to get together and, and what better way of doing it with football. Um, it, it speaks volumes of the club when you can attract the players that have been at the football club to come back and play in such an event and uh, it, we're, everybody's really excited about it. And whilst it has been a difficult season on the pitch as well, it, it, and people may want to kind of forget about this season, but it's important we remember our history as well. Yeah, and I think this club has got that tradition of remembering its history and, and, and what, what it's achieved in the past, from the days when Nat Lofthouse was uh, scoring the winning goals in cup finals to the 92 to 97 team when Bruce Riott was in charge and winning uh, league championships and, and getting to major cup finals. So it's nice to reminisce. It is always nice to look forward as well for what the first team can achieve the next few years but at this moment in time it would be great to get everybody back together and reminisce about the good times that the club's had and, and are going to have in the future with the trust. And two esteemed captains as well in, in Tony Kelly and, and John McGinley, two club legends in their own right, what have they had to say to you so far? Well it's been great because um, they're looking for players who've got fitness levels who can still play football um, and I class myself as being still physically fit so John and Kells have been on the phone to me trying to persuade me to play for both their teams so um, there's a bit of a bounty on it at the moment so hopefully whoever can come up with the best bounty <laughs> I will play for. Um, McGinley keeps saying he'll take me out for a meal, Kells said he'll take me out for two meals so um, at the moment um, I'm, I'm, I'm on the halfway line and I don't know whether they're going to go left with John McGinley or right to Tony Kelly but I'm sure those two will have the divine in there. Uh, if I factor in and they'll decide who they want me to play for. Are you still confident you've got 90 minutes in you? Oh definitely, yes, yeah. Um, working with the 18s, um, I think it, it's imperative that you set the st set, set it by a, an example, um, by being fit and, and asking the players to do what you want them to do and I'm capable of doing that so I think by, by keeping myself fit I've got 90 minutes inside me. Next question is, have John and Tony got 90 minutes inside them? <laughs> um, I think they'll be roll on, roll off. Um, Kells likes to stay in the centre circle, doesn't do much running. John McGinn will be in the 18-yard box scoring goals and they'll probably give themselves 30, 40 minutes, uh, have a bit of a breather and then come back on. But uh, it's all for a great cause. Yeah, there's um, a serious side to it, but also the funny side of it as well. Um, everybody will give all their efforts for the full 90 minutes and let's hopefully it raises a lot of money on the day as well. If we were to ask you to pick one side, Tony or John's, who's would you who would you go who would you go for there? Are we allowed to put you on the spot on that question? Of course, you could put me on the spot. Yeah. Uh, well, I used to supply the crosses for John McGinley, but Tony Kelly used to give me the ball to supply the crosses. I've worked with Kells on a personal level when he was working at the football club, so at the moment we're probably swaying on the side of Tony Kelly. But I'm sure John will have something to say about it. Who do you think's in better shape? Well, have you seen them both lately? <laughs> um, do you know what? There's nothing between them. They're both exactly the same. They really are. I couldn't differentiate between the two of them, so I'll let them decide that, and I'll let them decide if I'm playing for them or not. Is that all right? Yep, yeah, that's fine, I think. We've got, we've got plenty to go out there. So. I don't know who's the fittest between them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, mate. Good. Welcome to Team Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> this is me first, sir, and me skipper.